it going, Rogues Gallery, and welcome to another Flesh and Blood video. Finally, I finally have some Monarch booster boxes. This is a sealed case of first edition Monarch that I picked up at my local game store, Going Gaming, here in Troutdale, Oregon. Well, I don't live in Troutdale, but they're still local to me. They're one of the, the closest stores that do Flesh and Blood. And um, yeah, man, I finally got my sealed case from them. I also have 10, 10 more boxes coming from someone else. And I'll kind of do a video on that when I get those in. They should be coming in today, but uh, they're not here yet. We'll, we'll see when, when they come in. Not only did I get this, you know, sealed case from Going Gaming at an excellent price, man. Excellent price. I mean, I'll be, I'll be super transparent. I only paid 125 per box for this, which is, which is so good. But I also want to show that they gave me this. I actually do not know what this what this is. I have no idea what's in here. I mean, obviously, it feels like there's some cards in here. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited to open this up and see what's in here. So what we're going to do in today's video is we are going to open this up and then open up two of the booster boxes from this case. And then in the next video, we'll open up another two booster boxes from this exact same case. With the other 10 boxes I have coming, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So two of those boxes I'm gonna set aside for other means. One of them is gonna be for the Creator Chaos Championship, the CCC. Me and several other content creators are gonna do like a, a Monarch box sealed. And so one box of that is going to be squared away, you know, specifically for that. And then the other box is gonna be specifically for my patrons. By the way, if you are not, you know, one of my patrons, definitely check out Patreon, my, my Patreon, patreon.com slash slash red zone rogue. Um, even like the lowest tier there, you do have access to the official rogues gallery, the red zone rogue community discord. There's also higher tiers there where I give you cards and booster packs back every single month. And also, and I'll say this right now too, since this is my first Monarch opening, um, I will be offering sponsored box openings starting with Monarch Unlimited uh, exclusively through the Patreon. Um, so, Check that out if it's something that you are interested in. Also, if you're looking to pick up a Flesh and Blood sealed product, check out my affiliate link here with Channel Fireball. I'm not sure if they still have Unlimited up there, but I'm pretty sure they'll have restocks. I know they have the starter decks up there, a complete set for 80 bucks, which is a little bit more than I would like, but still, 80 bucks for all four isn't too bad. Or you can check out my affiliate links with uh, Fab Foundry and Red Riot Games. Those are smaller stores. Uh, one of them is local to me in the Portland, Oregon area, and another one is from Canada. Red Riot Games is from Canada. Excellent folks, excellent customer service, so I recommend checking all of those folks out. But without further ado, man, I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked, you don't you don't know. Maybe you do know, maybe you do know. But uh, we're gonna open this up and see what's in here first, and then we're gonna open up um, two of the booster boxes in this case. What am I hoping for? Well, we'll talk about that as we start opening up the packs and everything. We got, we got, a, lot of, we got a lot of booster boxes opening on the channel in the next couple of weeks. Um, probably about 12, 12 boxes? We're gonna open up 12 boxes on the channel. Eventually, eventually. Probably like two boxes per video. Anyway, let's do it. All right, there's nothing like cracking into a brand new case of flesh and blood. This is Monarch, first edition, our very first case. Man, I'm so excited to crack into this. I actually just got my shipment of my other 10 boxes. Two of them came as sealed cases. And uh, the other two are just kind of loose, which obviously is to be expected. They're actually from uh, Team Covenant. I'll go over that in a, in a separate video because this video and the, the next box opening video after this one are going to be this case. Once we crack into the other cases, we'll talk about those when the time comes. But before we even do that, we're going to open up this that uh, my LGS sent me. So like I said at the beginning, um, I got this case from Going Gaming here in Troutdale, Oregon. Well, I don't live in Troutdale, but... I live near enough, and um, yeah, man, let's let's open this up. I literally have no idea what's inside this, by the way. Uh, they just gave this to me. I have no idea, no clue what's in here. I'm going to guess promo cards, but um, they didn't even tell me that it was going to be in here. So, oh my god. What? No way. <laughs> no way. It's Crucible of War. Dude, they sent me some crew packs. Oh my god, I don't know what to do with these. We're gonna save these for a different video. But they sent me four, four Crucible of War packs. I thought these were gonna be like promo cards. Oh my god, this is awesome. First edition Crucible of War. Okay, so we're gonna save these for a separate video. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with these yet, but 
We'll save those for a separate video. Maybe we'll open those up at the end of all this monarch shenanigans. Maybe after I open up all 12 boxes that I'm, I plan on opening, um, we'll do that. Like I said, I, I have 14 boxes of first edition total. Um, I kind of wish I had more, but I wish I had 20, but that's okay. I mean, I, I'm very happy with what I got. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. I know some people had a really tough time getting these. So I'm, you know, I'm thankful for just what I was able to get. Um, Oh my god, there we go. The glory, the glory. We'll just open up top two. We'll do top two in this video and then bottom two in the next video. And how the next video is going to work, by the way, is um, uh, I'm just going to get right into the pack opening, right? I'm not going to have the intro like I normally do. We're just going to jump right into the pack opening. And uh, yeah, and we're going to do some manual zoom in here with the camera. Um, and let's get started, man. Monarch first edition. I, I'm so pumped and like I said these will come maybe at the end maybe at the end Maybe our very final opening will do those or maybe we'll do something different with those. I don't know I don't know by the way, you don't need to use this to open up flesh and blood The seals are always really easy. Just peel it man crack it like a banana like I always say on the channel Crack it like a banana. You don't have to cut into this beautiful box if you don't want to you can sla slash away <laughs> slash away if you want to but um, here we go, man. The the beginning, the beginning of history, I guess you could say. All right, I've opened up a bunch of pre-release stuff, but this is my first time just actually cracking into some Monarch. I'm so pumped! I'm so pumped. What am I hoping to get? Well, I am hoping to get um, any of the legendaries that I haven't pulled yet. So basically, anything that's not a, a Carrion Husk. So we have uh, Seeds of Agony. We can zoom in more, man. We can zoom in more. Like that. All right, we got Seeds of Agony. Deadwood Rumbler. Graveling Growl. So in the first couple, like in the first box or two, we'll go a little bit slower here. And then once we start ramping up, we're going to blast through the commons. Bolt of Courage. Take Flight. Memorial Ground. I think this card, it's okay. I might be a little overrated. I tried to play with it, and it's not great. Ooh, I love this one, though. Blood Tribute. First of all, the art. We're going to zoom on this. Look at that. Look at that beautiful art. First of all, the art's great, but I think the effect is pretty good in Leviah. We have Surging Militia, Seek Enlightenment, Belittle. Ooh, we have a first foil. This is a Valiant Thrust foil rare. That's a good way to start off. Halo of Illumination, absolutely gorgeous card made by a fantastic artist, Sam Yang. We have Tremor of Irathiel, which is all right. I think this card's all right. Followed by a Vexing Malice, and then a Hatchet of Mind. So, um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna, probably just gonna have a giant pile of commons and uncommons off screen, and then I'll sort everything out as we go. So like, yeah, I'll probably just do like, let's see, rares, we'll do, I think normally while I, well, I'll, just, I'll put foil of rares in a separate pile just to see. And they'll have foil commons and uncommons here and then all of the nice stuff here. By the way, I did pull out some penny sleeves. I didn't want to fiddle around with top loaders or anything like that. Just to make it a little bit more expedient because we're going to be opening up two boxes per per video here. So we got Riftbind. I really love Riftbind, by the way. And this card, too. All right, so I was talking to Ian on my uh, gameplay video, our uh, Shadow Showdown. And doesn't this dude look like Thor? Doesn't he look like Thor from... Uh, you know, Marvel stuff. He's got like armor. He's just got like a weird face mask. But other than the face mask, he looks like Thor with a sword. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Is he a is he a Thor? Is he a Thor? Memorial Ground. I really like Ghostly Visit quite a bit. We have Ray of Hope. And then another foil rare. Pulping. Yo, look at the foiling on that. Look at the foiling on that. We have a uh, Ironhide Helm. This is the first Ironhide Helm I've actually pulled. We have a Consuming Aftermath Rare, and a Soul Reaping, nice, nice. Definitely want to get a Foil Soul Reaping for Chain. Chain is the hero that I'm looking to build first. Like, I had a ton of fun playing him in that match against Ian, and then, oh, speaking of Chain, and uh, you know, Rune Blade is my favorite class, so yeah. And then other than that, obviously, I'd love to get Fabled. Fabled would be really nice. Um, I, I'm definitely going to build decks with every single one of these heroes, though. We have a Boneyard Marauder foil. The foiling on this one's much more subtle. There you go. You can kind of see it there. That's pretty cool, though, right? So it's a foil common. We have Time Skippers. Do like that card. Captain's Call. Pretty good rare. And a Howl from Beyond. 
And a chain. Yo, adult chain. It's my first adult one. I'm going to put the adult heroes there. I'm curious. With every new set, I'm curious on some pull rates here. And I feel that people just plow past that kind of stuff. And I know new players are going to be curious. Yo, how many adult heroes do you get per box? Hey, look, Levia. Or Leviya. Well, we may have an adult Leviya right here, too. Uh, typically, you get one of each, right? And they, they usually have adult and then young. That's how it has been in the past. Looks like it's going to be that way for Monarch here. Spew Shadow. Void Wraith. I'm not really big on this one. Adrenaline Rush. I do like this Barbarian Lady. Ray of Hope. Spew Shadow. Here, let's, let's, we can get the foiling here. Hold on. Yeah. All right. There we go. That's the, that's the spice. We got a foil, common, spew shadow, time skippers, seek horizon, which I think is pretty good, actually. I think this is going to be really good in Azalea. And then, oh, dude, first majestic of our openings. One of the best majestics in the entire set, in my opinion. Exude confidence. Really good card. And then a Levia. Beautiful. Well, gross, but also beautiful. Also, look at this, man. Look at that. Look at that art. So good. So good. Okay, so we'll put, put her down there. Um, do I want to get a sleeve for her? Nah, we'll just leave it like that. We, we got a lot of majestics to get through. Hopefully. Hopefully. As I crack into the, these boxes. Riftbind is really good. Hungering Slaughter Beast. The, the blue isn't that great, but the yellow is pretty good because it has six attack. And that's kind of really what you want to be at. In, uh, in Leviah, you want to be at that six attack. Lunatide Plunder is pretty sweet, actually, too. We have... Ooh, a Foil Enigma Chimera. Hold on, we can get the foiling. We, I, gotta, I gotta get the right angle here with this new lighting. Yeah, there we go. That's the spice. And then an Aether Iron Weave. I would love to get a foil Aether Iron Weave. I've already mixed up my piles. <laughs> we have a Vexing Malice. Ooh, another Majestic Deep Rooted Evil. This one's very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. I'm not sure how good it is. Um, Ian, is this card good? Noxious, is this card good? Brute players, tell me if this is good. Um, brute is my worst class. I'm so bad at playing Brute. So hold on, we have Foil, okay, so. Yeah, I, I've mixed up my pals already. So, Foil Rares, Foil Commons, and then the Heroes here. We can do this, man. Ooh, the, the Foiling shows really well in that angle, so. Good to know, good to know. This is my first, like, I don't know, I've done a couple box openings since we've gotten to the new studio, but this is like the first one where I like, really wanted it to look super nice. And I think it, I think the lighting it's pretty good in here. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked, man. Right, we got Minnowism. And then... Oh, dude! Cold Foil Halo of Illumination. Gorgeous. Dude, I'm, like I was saying, man. So good, dude. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm very happy to get this. Very, very happy to get this. That's going to get a nice little, nice little sleeve. Nice little sleeve. We have Merciful Retribution. And then a Tremor of Rathiel. Then a hatchet. So yeah, um, I've seen some other box openings. Uh, I know a lot of people are cracking into these way before I, I was able to, but yo, yeah. So I, I know a little bit of the pull rates here. We're gonna put the cold foils here, just for now. Just for now, let's put it there for now. Um, yeah, so I know that you can get multiple uh, legendaries per box. I know you can get multiple, like, cold foil per box, so, uh, Monarch's a weird, weird one, man. You always have hope. So, yeah. We have, uh, let's see, Void Wraith. Oh, this is a foil zealous beating, or belting. Eh, close enough. <laughs> close enough. We have an Ironhide, plow through, and then a Herald of Triumph, and a chain token. Nice. Heralds are good. Um, yeah, I definitely want the the shadow stuff first, though I really want... Like, get out of here, Chain Man. Only adults. Adults only area. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, oh, Illusionist. Yeah, I'd really like to build Illusionist. I, I feel bad for, like, Bolton. Like, Bolton stands, because Bolton's, like, my the one I'm least interested to make. Because he's just like a, he's like a warrior, man. He's going to do warrior things. He's going to smack you with some weapons. And he's going to do some warrior stuff. But the other ones are really exciting. Okay, here we go. We have a foil memorial ground. Beautiful. Hold on. It's very subtle. Very subtling on the foiling. We have a hooves of the shadow beast. Followed by a pulping and an ode to wrath. And a prism. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna move this over here. <laughs> I'm just gonna set it over here. I want the I want the space to to be able to like you know set my set my arms down wherever. All right. Because I mean I have the camera obviously set up, so I don't have a, a ton of space. Crackle across the line. Um, how are you guys liking Monarch so far? I'm very curious to know. Brandish. Okay. Every time we have a freaking brandish at the very end, I don't think it's at the end though. I think there's another one. Every time we had a brandish at the end, we had a legendary afterwards. Legendary? It's a common. Okay. This is a just a regular ray of hope, which looks very pretty. It's very pretty. Hooves. We have a Phantasmify, which is a very, very good card. Followed by a Ooh, Majestic Rouse the Ancients. Second generic majestic. This one's very interesting. It's a very weird card. I don't know. Ooh, cracky Bobby. Um Yeah. Very, very interesting. I'm happy with these Majestics, though. In these uh, 12 boxes that I'll be per opening for my personal collection on the channel, I, uh, you know, hope to get everything. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. I'm probably going to have to trade for some, you know, scattered Majestics and uh, Legendaries, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens, man. We'll have uh, Howl from Beyond. Arr! That's a foil rare. We have another hooves. It's three hooves in a row. Got Glisten, my very first Glisten. It's a pretty good card, actually. And then we have a arrr, another Howl from Beyond. All right. Yeah, man. Um, so, what Majestics do I want to get? Like I said, any of the Shadow and Runeblade ones, honestly, especially in foil. Um, exude confidence. Mm, confidence. Exude confidence in foil. As well as the um, the 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 emptiness one. What? Why did I forget the name of it? I made a video on it. Hmm. Ooh, beautiful spears of surreality. I actually spoilers bought an art print of this. So, yeah, I love this card. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Halo of Illumination, Endless Maw, and then a, ooh, Toma Torment. Yo, that's pretty sweet. I'm actually not sure how good this is gonna be in chain, but I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. And then a Urser and a Blasmafet token. Really cool. Um, four Majestic so far. I've seen people only open up like four, four to six. I think six is the average, which makes sense, you know. The old pull rates, you'd get two Majestics and then uh, four Supers per box. Which, you know, on average, on average, you're not guaranteed anything. But uh, so having six here makes a lot of sense. We have a Foil Seeds of Agony. The foiling on this one's super muted. Um, it's still cool though. I, I definitely want a lot of these. This card's gonna be really, really good for, for Chain. And then we have a Blood Drop Brocade, which is gorgeous. We have a Convulsions from the Bellows of Hell. And then a Writhing Beast Hulk. It's a rare. And then Mr. Bolton. Dude, I love the flavor of this set. I can't wait to see the future of Flesh and Blood, man. Um, where they go from here, if there's gonna be Aria, Mysteria, the Pits. Oh man, I'm so stoked. Volcor. Oh dude. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome, dude. Um, but that's a while out. Let's enjoy Monarch while we're here. We have Rare, Endless Maw. The same Endless Maw looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. There's a foil rare. We have an Iron Hide, Vexing Malice, followed by a Captain's Call. And then a good old Shackle token. Captain's Call is pretty good. Um, I used it in my match against Ian while I was playing Chain. And uh, yeah, man, it's it's pretty good. You can, you know, string together some pretty sweet turns. Smash with Big Tree. Uh, Smash with Big Tree. Uh, Ian told a pretty interesting story. I keep, I keep bringing that up, man. I keep bringing it up. I apologize. Where um, that was the playtest name because he used to work at Legend Story Studios. Smash the Big Tree was the playtest name, but he liked it so much that he really pushed for them to keep it. Impenetrable Belief. We have a Hungering Slaughter Beast. Like I said, the yellow one's really good here because it still has six attack. And then we have a Aether Iron Weave, which I think is really good actually. Endless Maw. And then a Bolting Blade. This is another Majestic. Really good one. If you're playing uh, Bolton, you're going to want the Bolting Blade. So that's five Majestics and a Cold Foil. Um, yeah, dude. <laughs> first, this is, a, this is a good first box, you know? Good, solid first box. I would love to get the Fabled, obviously. And in this first video, oh my god, dude. 
Can you believe- Could- Could you believe it? My luck has been amazing so far. We have a Deadwood Rumbler. Uh, very muted and foiling, but still really cool looking. Ironhide, Dimensional Gateway, the same Dimensional Gateway, well not really, but uh, you see that duplication a lot in Monarch, like getting the same, uh, getting the same rare. Um, still have a good good number of packs to go, still have a good number of packs to go. Um, I think what I'm most excited about is after I'm done opening up all these Monarch like cases and packs, it's time to get deck building, man. It's time to get deck building. I'm super stoked to do that. Um, Brandish. Legendary? Nah. Every time we get the Brandish, I have to see if there's a Legendary behind it. We have the Frontline Scout. We have a Blood Drop. Ooh, awesome. Seething sh or Seeping Shadows. Ah, Soul Food. Yo, we getting... How many Majestics is this? It's a, it's a Majestic. We got six. All right, so that, that's your average. We've, we've hit average. I still have a ton of packs left ton of packs left um i've there have seen some weird stuff with people open up monarch so there's always a chance that a legendary because this is a slightly higher pull rate than usual it's like one in three boxes i think so yeah but then i've also seen folks like dm armada not get a legendary at all in a case so you know it's all pretty random by the way look at that war tune herald it's beautiful we have an iron hide seek horizon Followed by a Prismatic Shield. That's my very first Prismatic Shield. And a Leviah, who's one of my favorite heroes. She's awesome. Um, I think... Hmm. I think for the second box, I'm probably... I'm debating whether I not want to keep this stuff on the screen or not. <clears throat> I'll probably keep it on the screen, to be honest. Um, just to... Just so you can see, man. So you can see. Minnowism. We have a pound, four pound... Legendary? Ah, oh, Out Muscle. That's really cool. Shout out to Ian and Alan of uh, Radio Reflex. That was their spoiler card. The full rare. Ironhide. Captain's Call. Oh, dude, another Majestic. This is going to be a high Majestic box. Shadow of Urser. I think this card is super good. Super, super good. Zero cost with the ability to have Go again. Playable from the Banish Zone. This is going to be... Ooh, look at that beautiful prism. It's going to be a must-have chain in my opinion yep I mean, you want low cost stuff with go again from your banner zone that's basically bread and butter for chain because you want to you know activate your um, ability often go wide and then have a ton of stuff in your bin and just have a huge turn where you play like a bunch of stuff from the banner zone and um yeah i'm really excited for that i'm really excited for that Ooh, another seeds of agony like this zero cost playable from the banner zone really good we have an out muscle and another endless maw red and then a prism. Yeah, dude. So we have seven majestics so far. It's not bad. Not bad at all. And I'm uh, pretty happy with what 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 majestics we got. Um Yeah, dude. And like I said, I'm going to try to go a little quicker. I, I just love it. Love the art in the spears, man. Pound for a pound. Love the art in this. The art in this set is so good. Legendary. Oh, okay. Okay, legendary. Ah, oh, second swing. I'm not sure if I like this card very much. And then we have uh, Aether Ironweave, uh, Parable of Humility. Hmm, interesting. And then a Battlefield Blitz. I have not got one of these yet. Followed by another Leviah. Lots of Leviahs though. How many packs we got left for the first box? Yeah, still got a, still got a few, man. Still got a few. Four more packs. Let's do this, man. Yeah, <laughs> I can't believe they sent me Crucible of War still. I, I like was super confident that it would be, um, what do you call it? Like just some, like some promos, which you know promos are great too. Crucible of War. I mean, so here's the thing with Crucible of War. I've opened up maybe 20 boxes of Crucible of War total, and um, and I will be buying a case of Unlimited, um, just to have. But like, ooh, another Spears of Surreality, gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um but i mean crucible of war is pretty hit and miss sometimes your packs are good sometimes your packs are absolute trash we have a uh, unhallowed rights and a consuming aftermath followed by sheackle sheackle that's how i'm gonna say it we need to start coming up with nicknames i'm gonna be opening up so many of these boxes i like coming up with nicknames for cards so if you're new to my channel first of all welcome welcome we, we like to have fun here 
We do pack openings. But we also do like gameplay and discussions and deck techs. And I just saw a foil. <laughs> this is a foil uh, illusionist card. Oh my god! Yeah, here we go, dude. Foil phantasmaclasm. Hold on. We gotta get the foiling. There we go. There's the good foiling. I probably would have edited out a little bit of that silence while I try to get. Yo, so sweet. That is gonna get a sleeve. We have Dreamweaver. This is the first one in the box. We have a Prismatic Shield, second one, and a Rise Above. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I really want this on a playmat. I think it's beautiful. I love the the, the colors. It's very autumn, autumnal colors, which is my favorite time of the year. Um, yeah. The reds. Phantasmaclasm. Yeah. Um, this is a, we got we got a good number of uh, majestics here. This is a pretty good. I would say it's a pretty good first box. Nothing like nothing crazy. Like you know, I was pulling like legendaries left and right for my pre-release kits, but you know, maybe maybe we have that coming up. You never know. You never know. You never know. All right, we have a herald of protection. Common beautiful card. W hammers pulping. Oh, what? We have another majestic. Yo, super high count majestic. And then we got Bolton. There we go. That, that makes a full set. Another majestic. Uh, pretty good. So this is the last pack. Last pack on that first box. Pretty good box. Doesn't have a legendary. Didn't have one of the extended art thingies. Well, I mean it might. Though, crack bobble right there. Um, but. Yeah, I don't know, let's see, let's see. And then we're gonna go straight to the next box. And that'll do it for this video, that'll do it for this video. We have, okay, here we go. Common, all right. Blinding Beam, nothing super crazy, nothing super crazy in this box. Aether Iron Weave, let's see if we can get another Majestic. Nah, it's a rare, okay. Let's plow through, and then crack bubble. So, how many Majestics was that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Casual nine Majestics. That seems pretty good, pretty good. And then of course the Dread Scythe. I, I gotta get my, my Rune Blade stuff on. So we're just gonna kind of group all this stuff up together and just maybe set it, set it aside. We'll like make the piles a, a little bit nicer, just slightly nicer. And it does look like you get one of each, which is really good. Um, so without further ado, second the box. It's already slightly, Slightly ajar. Yeah, the 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 seal in these is, isn't great to be honest, and it never has been for flesh and blood. You can crack them pretty easily, man. Like I always say, just crack it, crack it like a banana. Um, there we go, there we go. We are at the cusp of first edition. Ooh, this pack is like got more air in it. Um, maybe it means we have a legendary in there. I don't, I don't know. That doesn't mean anything, by the way. If you're watching this and you're like, "Hey, that doesn't mean you don't get a leg you get a legendary more more air doesn't mean you get a legendary." I know, man. I know. I'm just I'm just bantering. <laughs> oh, brandish, legendary. Ah, common. Ooh, lunar tide plunderer. Look at that. Look at that foiling, man. So good. Gallantry prismatic shield. Oh, dude, first pack. First pack celestial cataclysm. Well, uh, we got we we're starting the majestic train again. Starting the majestic train again. Though, I'd rather have a legendary than a majestic. Just saying, just saying. Got some seeds, smashing the trees. Well, smashing with the trees. We got legendary. Ah, warmongers recital. We have another uh, hungering slaughter beast. Very interesting. He looks like an orc with wings. Orc with wings. Stubby hammers. Consuming aftermath. Or consuming... Yeah, consuming aftermath. And a tremor of Irathiel. Ooh, another Levia. What's up? What's up, what's up? Let's put Levia here. I'm probably going to get rid of this area in future openings. And probably put cold foils there. You know what? Let's do that right now. We already know. We already know the pulls. Put them there. All right. Yeah, dude. I'm so stoked. I was like waiting all day to get these um, Since they were delayed, you know, I wanted to pick up these on um, on Friday on launch day But you know, it's not the LGS's fault distributors were were late. So 
you know. And they, they messaged me the, the second they were in, so, yeah. All right, Brandish. You have a legendary? Ah, uh, we have a beautiful Adrenaline Rush. Yo, that's sweet looking. And then another Hooves of the Slaughter Beast, Battlefield Blitz, and a Dusk Path Pilgrimage. Nice. Um, I think the Battlefield Blitz is, like, really good. It's like a one-cost five attack with go again, which, um... It's pretty good. Just gonna say, pretty good. Um, yeah, dude. Blinding Beam, Minnowism. All right, here we go. Legendary, ah. Courageous Steel Hand. There we go, there's the foiling. We have a Blood Drop, Out Muscle, and a Seeping Shadow, followed by a uh, Adult Chain. Sweet. So I'm gonna stop the video here and then restart it because uh, it's, it's gonna run out of, run out of time. Basically, my camera is a DSLR, and it can only shoot for about 29 minutes. And so that was up to 27 minutes. And I didn't want to, like, forget about it and then have it go out, you know, halfway in a pack. You know? You know? If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Blood Tribute. We have a... Oh, dude! Mark of the Beast! This is a full... Or not full art. This is a foil majestic. Mark of the Beast. I think this card's actually quite good. Because you can block with it. Um, and it has yellow pitch. It's actually a really good card. So we're going to put that one on a sleeve. We have a Herald of Judgment. And then a Glisten. Red pitch Glisten. Beautiful. Beautiful card there. Um, yeah, the art in Monarch is just so good. It's like so good. I should probably take these out. Um, so that is our Foil Majestic. I do know that the um, extended art Majestics are um, quite hard to pull quite hard to pull um so yeah dude just keep that in mind if we pull one you know i'll probably end up trading it they're going for several hundred dollars right now and um i'll probably probably trade it and get more get more monarch we've got blood tribute we've got a belittle and then our rare is a captain's call nice look at that foiling and then, I meant by rare, I meant foil. It was a foil rare, though. Time Skippers. Ooh, Vexing Malice, which I think is fantastic. And another Endless Maw. Uh, I really like Vexing Malice, by the way. I think it's really good. Um, yeah. And I, like I said, I've seen people open up boxes that have two legendaries. I got my fingers crossed, man. Got my fingers crossed that we, we the rock and the double, the dub legendary, the dub L box. Um, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Yo, foil smash with big tree. Followed by a iron hide plate. Ooh, Phantasmify. Brilliant card. And then, a, ooh, Majestic Arc Light Sentinel. This one is going to be a tricky one to play, I think. But I think it's really cool. Uh, we have good old chain. Good old chain. Look at these. Look at these Majestics. Weird Majestics, man. Um, the one that I have not pulled that I really want to see in foil. Um, I haven't pulled any of them is the Sonata Arcanics. First of all, the name. It reminds me of a metal band called Sonata Arctica. But uh, also the art moot. The art is so good. And we have... Ooh, okay, I've not seen one of these. Oh, it looks awesome. Everyone says, like, the Arcanic Crackle looks awesome. Well, look, here you go. High def, good lighting, Arcanic Crackle. There you go, man. Got an Ebb and Fold, Dimensional Gateway, Herald of Triumph. I'm crack, crack Bobby. I want a game with the Dimensional Gateway. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right. Continuing on. Continuing onward. Um, I think the game is calling to me, telling me to play Prism. Because it. I got a Phantasmoclasm already, and he's like, hey, yo, bro, you want a foil one? And I'm like, I guess. Sure. I'll take it, man. Okay, here we go. Foil. Common. Void Wraith. Wraith? These guys remind me of the bunny from Donnie Darko. Well, actually, they kind of also remind me of the Stranger Things, like, dudes. They call them Demogorgons, but that's weird to me because I play D&D &D and I know, I know what a Demogorgon is. We've got Tremor, followed by Convulsions and a Prism. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that they look more like a... Uh, they look more like a... Uh, Whatchamacallit? Demogorgon. Well, the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. 
We have another smash with big tree. Yo, Ian, I got all these foil smash with big trees for you. We have a hooves followed by a herald of judgment. Majestic. Oh, it is majestic. Another freaking sentinel. What? We got a awesome looking Urser. Bruh. 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 We're going to hit you with a bruh. You know, as long as it's not that um, that defense reaction, the freaking um, majestic shadow defense reaction that I pulled four of in my sealed case, or in my sealed, um, sealed pools. So I went to basically had three pre-release pools, and I opened up four of those freaking majestics. So, yeah. Ooh, rip through reality. This card's sweet. This card's way better than I thought. Being able to play it from your banner zone with Go again is, is just really good. We have another Hooves. We have a, ooh, beautiful Rise Above. And a Majestic. Nope, Glisten. I'm so happy to get, like, look at the art, dude. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good, man. It's so good. I'm going to say we're, like, maybe halfway, halfway through the box. Halfway through the box. Smash with the big tree. You got to, you know, when, when the time comes, just pick up that tree and smash it on their head. <laughs> All right, let's see. Overload. Oh, dude! All right, so this is another cold foil common, but it's a freaking Dreamweavers. Yo, I know a certain DM Armada who uh, who really wants to get one of these guys. Oh yeah, look at the foiling there. Oh, dude. Oh, it's so nice. What? <laughs> back to back. By the way, this is how you can tell it's a cold foil. You can kind of see like the metallic foiling. Yeah. So good. We have a Seek Horizon and then a Majestic. Oh, dude! <laughs> a Phantasmoclasm. We have a Phantasmoclasm. Oh, Bolton. And a Dreamweavers in the same pack. Well, then. Remember how I said the game is, like, telling me to play Prism? Well, there you go. Now we just need to get the, uh, the Legendary there. You know what? I'm pretty happy with those two Cold Foils. They're just commons. But uh, those are good ones. Those are real good ones, especially those Dreamweavers, man. Those Dreamweavers, I love getting the class um, specific cold foils because anytime you play with that class, you're like, yo, I got them. I got them all decked out, ready to rock. Yeah, dude. Frontline Scout, followed by Warmonger's Recital. Okay, here we go. Legendary. No, belittle. I do like the foiling on it, though. Either Iron Weave, Majestic. Oh, Out Muscle. Well, I can only have so many called shots in a day. So we open up two Phantasmoclasms in this or in this video. One of which is foil, which is real nice. Um, yeah, dude. Um, what else? I mean, so for the legendaries that I want the most, I would love to get the equipment first, right? We have a ooh, ghostly visit. I really like this card. The foiling is really nice. I would love to get the equipment, just because, like, it's really cool just to have the equipment. I don't know. I don't know what else to say with that. Um, yeah. So, specifically, I want the... I think the, I think the legendary I want the least is the warrior one, to be completely honest. Maybe it's because I already have a cold foil of refraction bolters, and I can just be like, yo, I'm just going to play Dorinthia, but I don't know. I don't know. Here we have a Tremor of Arathiel. Or Arathiel. Yeah, something like that. That's a rare. We have an Ebon Fold. I bet that looks awesome in cold foil. Glisten and a Dimensional Gateway. Oh, by Good old chain. Good old chain. So this box... Where did all the Majestics go? They went. They were in the last box. Alright. I wonder how... Hmm. I wonder how the, the hopper works. Hold on, my... My dog's freaking out. All right, <laughs> I've I have calmed my dog down. I hope there isn't anything amazing in this pack because I didn't want to like go through all the cards with her just like barking in the background. So um, yeah, uh, if there is something amazing in this pack, I did not cheat it. Maybe I'll just leave in the barking. I don't know. We'll see. What is it? Okay, it's just a valiant thrust. All right, it was a foil valiant thrust. Um, so, yep. Basically, oh, dude, via the Vanguard. It's my first one. Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> Guardian of the Shadow Realm. Ah, uh, no. 
Oh, I got five Guardians of the Shadow Realm. Anyone need any Guardians? I will trade you. Give me the light one. I will trade you the light one for the dark one. People even trade? I don't know, man. Anyway, so I now locked the dog in the room with me. Um, wanted to leave the door open because it gets hot in here, but... You know, if she's going to bark her head off, then... She's going to be... Ooh, beautiful ghostly visit. Really dig it. Gallantry, out muscle, and then an unhollowed right. Followed by a prism. Alright. So what, this is six Majestics? Including a foil one? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think you probably average one to two foils for Majestics per box. It's hard to tell. I mean, it's really hard to tell. Um, but, yeah. We got... Another foil, Stranger Things. I'm just going to call it that now. Dusk Path, and then a Howl from Beyond. Um, yeah, so... How many of these How many of these can we get? Um, can we get ten? I mean, we got a lot more boxes to get through, man. I have, I have ten more boxes to get through eventually, right? So I have all of them sitting on the side. I have two sealed cases, plus the other two that you saw in this video. How many Guardians of the Shadow Realm? If you're watching this far, by the way, place a bet. Well, we'll see at the very end of all this kind of stuff, you know, weeks down the road. How many Guardians do you think I'll have total? I currently have five. Currently have five. Oh, we have a fo foil already. Uh, convulsions from the Bellows of Hell. Dude, gross. That looks awesome. We have a Hooves, another V of the Vanguard, and then a Phantasmify. Beautiful. And a Prism. Yeah, dude. Is it going to be 10? Is it going to be 5? Like, are we, are we going to be not just going to... Are we going to not open up anymore? Is it going to be 6? Are we just going to open up one more? Hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. You know, I want to get one of these duplicate boxes that has multiple of the same thing, but I want them to be, like, uh, exude confidence or something. We got... Unworldly Bellow. Sweet. It reminds me of Ar from, like, Arkham Horror. We have a Time Skippers. I definitely want that one in foil. Tremor and a Herald of Triumph. All by a meaty, just a just a meat meaty axe, man. It's just got a very meaty axe. It it be thick. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, we're only two boxes in. The, the the delirium is already starting to set in. It's already starting to set in. All right. We're gonna we're gonna continue, man. We're gonna continue. What is your favorite hero in Monarch? Obviously, I like Chain. I also really like Prism. I really like the heroes in general in this set, man. We have another beautiful Adrenaline Rush. Blood Drop. Another V of the Vanguard. It's my third one. And then a... Oh, dude! <laughs> I looked at it for a second. I'm like, what, what rare is this? No, it is a Majestic Tome of Divinity. It's our very first one. Really happy to get that. You know, my goal is with all these box openings, I want to get a full playset of everything, right? So I can build any deck that I want. So I'm not really like a investor because I don't ever plan on selling the cards. Unless they're extras, I just don't want them. But most of the time, I just want the cards to play with. And if I can get them in foil, then that's cool too. So I'm kind of a collector in that regard as well. All right, legendary uh, plow through. That's a foil rare. We have an iron hide. Ooh, soul harvest, really sweet. And then a majestic nah plow through. Um, yeah. So for this video, we only have two more pack -roos as I throw the box to the ground. <laughs> we... I, I would say these are pretty good boxes. These are probably like average boxes, though that first box had more Majestics than normal. These these are feeling like pretty average, right? Both had cold foil commons, sweet commons. Both had like a good number of Majestics, foil Majestic. You know, it just seems very like par for the course. Frontline Scout. Halo of Illumination. We have Convulsions and a Majestic. Ah, Pulping. I'd like to get another Majestic here, because I'm greedy. Because <laughs> I'm greedy. We have seven. So we have six and then the foil, which seems like this seems very, you know, standard to me, right? Very, very standard. So those are the top two boxes. And the next video coming out either, you know, tomorrow or the day after, uh, we'll be opening up the other two. But we'll have many more Flesh and Blood openings over the next couple weeks. Alright, we have... Oh, dude! Another Foil Majestic in the close! Soul Shield! Yo. 
Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous card. All right. Th these were the majestic boxes, right? These ones had some good majestic pulls. Nothing crazy, you know, nothing full art or anything. But um, multiple foil majestics. And then like six on top. So we have, this was an eight majestic box. So that's pretty good. This was a very light heavy box, right? Like, look at this. We only got like two non-light, non-illusionist cards. Very interesting. And then of course the first one, <laughs> we had the foil phantasmoclasm and including the dread scythe, which is amazing by the way. And of course this uh, exude confidence. So I would say it's pretty good, pretty good. And of course we can't forget the whole reason people want to buy first edition anyway, cold foils. Yo, <laughs> anyway, if you like the video, then leave a like, comment, subscribe, maybe share this with your friends who you think might like flesh and blood. And we'll see you next time for more flesh and blood content. We're gonna open up more boxes. We got tons more just, you know, gameplay and discussions and all that kind of stuff here on Red Zone Rogue. So I'll see you next time for some more Flesh and Blood content. Have a good one all. We'll see you later.